Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome back to Rainy Day Reactions with Chris and Nia. Today we're going to be continuing Fargo Season 2 Episode 6 called Rhinoceros. But first, what happened last episode? The ambush happened. Um, the Ray Romano, Ray Romano sounding guy mm -hmm. got his head chopped off. Otto, I think it's his last name? His name? Otto? I don't know. I, don't know. I, say I forgot his name. <laughs> they mentioned it a bunch of times last episode. Like, yep. Um, What else happened? Uh, I think Peggy and Ed are gonna be arrested at this point. Um, yeah, I don't know. I guess this is their this is their downfall for everything that they've is done, it? or who knows some more um, interrogation scenes. Yeah, last episode was good. Can't wait to see what happens this episode mm -hmm. and what's gonna happen with this war. Yep. Oh, and is Dodd's daughter gonna start being included in the meetings, or how's she gonna handle? Having to force Passing her way information. in. Yeah. Give information. Yeah. That was like the main stuff, though. Mm -hmm. Okay, you ready? All right, let's go. You're so out of line, Shirley. You can't just. You're taking. They're him? taking the wrong person. Arrest her ass, too. Oh, approval. For real, what the hell? Um, Charlie's on the phone. Oh. Mm. Shit. Yep. He's smiling. Why is he smiling? Hey, do you know what a horror's life is? Come on now. God, he's such a piece of shit. I'm serious. This is me looking out for you. My son. You. Oh, oh shit. Oh shit. Ooh. There's a fucking tank. Go in. You didn't see anything. <laughs> She's like. Will somebody get him off me? Oh my god. What? Come on. You better stop now. Huh? You're getting the belt, kid. You get in the buckle. belt. What the fuck? You can have the strap or the buckle. Because I can't have you knocking me around not in front of the men. Give me the buckle, you piece of shit. No! Uh, this no! was weird. I know. <laughs> Bullshit! Not today. Tell him. Now tell me what happened. Are they all driving over to the station to intimidate them or something? Bring back my grandson. No excuses. You, all you see into the boy, you take care of this butcher. He doesn't live through the night. I'm so disturbed by this, like, brother, like, belt thing. I don't know. It's so weird, huh? I'm the oldest. That's so fucking stupid. But, like, he's, like, used <laughs> to it. I know. He didn't, like, laugh at his face. It's so weird. I need you to tell me. Your dad and the others. Where are they headed? There's someone listening. that town in Minnesota. Where the judge? Laverne. Yeah. Get now, the hell out of here. Now you say, <laughs> you say that. <laughs> You're gonna kill him for me. You're dead. He's what? nuts. Ozzy was a dad. Took a whole army almost. Okay, baby. Your dad. Dead. Oh my god. That is a piece of shit. I mean, I get why, but holy shit. <laughs> the jaws that bite, the claws. Beware they the could have avoid. carpooled, okay? <laughs> so what a waste of gas. They're trying to show, like... Force. Yeah. What's with the magazines? Uh, I don't know. He's got a fuck ton of I'm magazines. I'm gonna move these, okay? No, actually, no. Those are my... No! So you, you collect these, then? Oh. Beauty and travel mags. No, not collect. I, I gotta stay up with the latest trends, you know? In my line of work. Mm. Oh, okay, that makes sense. I, I know there's a lot of questions, but I just, I got a, um, I got this seminar tomorrow. She can well, go down the Sioux Falls. Five debts since Saturday, and your husband is currently in jail. So <laughs> no, I mean that's terrible. But she doesn't give a fuck. <laughs> you're a little touched, aren't you? It's just the the time and place in which you're. Well, you know, if you I mean I got dreams, then yeah. Your husband's in jail. For real, she's not even talking about that part. <laughs> they tried to kill your husband. <laughs> I mean, they burned down his shop. You, you think that's the end of it? It's truly not. So maybe we'll. <laughs> she's gonna <laughs> leave. Go to yeah, she California is. or California. someplace. But she just keeps going. You are about to leave. <laughs> Before you start making plans, you should know I got a forensic team coming down from the Twin Cities in the morning. Forensic team. We're gonna check your car for blood. 
You it's, can't do that, of course, without permission. It's not your car. You know, yeah. so. We got permission about an hour ago. You From sold the, the car to Sonny Greer. <laughs> I sat in your living room last night and gave you the chance. You that was last night. Calls. I gave you the Why chance. Why is Peggy over. not sitting there? You were defending not yourself. Not to mention, there's a war going on up in Fargo that you may have started when you ran over that Gerhardt boy in Peggy's car. These boys aren't going to rest until you're dead, son. Yeah. Possibly Peggy, too. I want a lawyer. Was a special investigative unit inside. Is he a lawyer? Hey, Sean. Is he? Got a customer for you. A uh, client. I guess you <laughs> Over. I guess so. Ed Blumquist. Oh, this is going to be good. There is a crisis at the highest level. So who do they call? The best lawyer in town. Aren't you the only lawyer in town, Carl? <laughs> <laughs> that's who they're gonna call? Dad, that's a little messed up on Lou's end, though. I know. Call his lawyer friend. <laughs> well, he's the only lawyer. Yeah. How come after you hit that fella, you didn't just drive to the hospital? Right? Or wave down a passing motorist and ask him to call the cops? Yeah. Mm hmm I'll tell you what. If it was me, and we had to run, I wouldn't look back. For what? This house? This is Ed's house. He grew up here. His Damn. mom washing his undies. You ask me how come I buy all these magazines? She's living in a fantasy. I'm living in a museum of the past. The house. She's yeah. really unhappy there. Oh, oh shit. shit! Is he He's about gonna to die? Harry? Go inside now. Get in the fucking. Oh my god. Got a hiding place in the basement or the, the attic. Go to that. He really has a fucking. Help you fellows with something? What? Oh, so. oh, Ed. <laughs> oh shit. Yeah. Lindsay's yeah, going around the back. Him. Or maybe he's inside and you think I'm stupid. Is he gonna end up shooting her? Steamer trunk with the amount of stupid I think you are, but no, that that's where he went. <laughs> I call him stupid. Fuck. He's gonna die. Oh shit! Here we go. No. No, Peggy. Hey, hey. Oh, oh, that's better. Oh, oh my god. Okay. <laughs> It's a lot. Yeah. They're probably just gonna burn the house now. That's how unhappy she was. All oh, those fucking magazines. Look at that. Watch her kill Dodd. I know. That's what I'm That'd thinking. be hella funny. Oh, something <laughs> fell on him. Shut up. What the fuck was that? Oh. Oh. <laughs> just kills one of his own guys like a fucking dumbass. Shit. <laughs> oh my what? god. The guy was a little whining. Is he about to die where his brother died? Oh, good shit. She got him. Keep going. What do you There's one more guy. Should have kept going. Just fry his ass. Are you with us? Are you with us? When you say us. I mean the family. You don't get to pick and choose. Sure, Grandma. That doesn't sound very sure. I know. Well, got a role to play. You need to take my example. Yeah, you're gonna get a seat at the table. This is our time. No such thing as men's work, women's work anymore. Oh, shit. Oh, my God. They're attacking the property. Holy fuck. Home sweet home. <laughs> I mean, I knew he didn't care about her, but like, damn. Hey, hope they didn't wake you. Out of my way, tool of the state, for I <laughs> come to comfort and counsel my client, even as you seek to prison him. Whatever you're gonna do, you got 30 minutes. Don't dictate terms to me, you rogue. That's <laughs> <laughs> fucking awesome. I didn't do this no, thing either. No, no, don't tell me. The establishment has ears everywhere. Even here. Years. Instead, I shall simply ask G or NG. Let's say for the purposes of the cameras that are no doubt watching. 
that a negative shake side to side shall in this case be a positive affirmation. So the opposite? Yeah. <laughs> No charges as of yet. Held without charges, even better. Then I shall yeah. have to tell his honor to boost my client from these baseless, oh my <laughs> baseless restraints you've shackled him under. Prepared to lay Joseph waste to these four walls. <laughs> He's like a hilarious. Oh no. Yeah, you lay low. That's, uh, yep. <laughs> I need to use the restroom. He's not drunk anymore. <laughs> <laughs> Carl? Those are pull, the not push. The are upon us. They're right there! Deputy Bluth, I need you to lock the back door. Do it now. Fucking Nazi. Now we dude. got your son on attempted murder. Took a shot at the local butcher. The place burned down. Or is that butcher now? No. I know you got what? designs on him. Some. Inside. He's safe. You got less than five minutes to send my Charlie out. You're talking about farm boys who've never been face to face with a serious man before. And I need someone who can talk some sense into the father. Who oh, the his son's lawyer. Oh, you don't true. Represent the son, though. You do now, Carl. What the hell? Things got super complicated this episode. He's gonna go out of a window. Hansi. <gasps> oh, shit. Oh, you're not going to hear that. I'm your son's attorney. I need a lawyer. He's going home tonight. That was a window, huh? And they're prepared to meet your demands. Oh, no. Oh, there it is. Send the boy out. You're making it worse. He's a minor, see? Yeah. Only 17, so reduced sentence and applies. This might work. He might listen. He's a somewhat reasonable one. You take him out of here now. And he's running the rest of his life. A wanted fugitive. Shoot on sight. Yeah, I mean, you There's go home and then out. what? He stays clean. But you gotta go. Now. Five years. Fuck. Uh, I think it's gonna work. Is he trying not to cry? <laughs> Fuck. I mean... You, you can only do so much, right? Uh, He's lucky it was a reasonable one. Thought would have fucked it all up. Mm-hmm. Oh Christ, you... man, you look worse than me. <laughs> Smell better, maybe. Fuck. <laughs> hey. Go oh, he thinks. We know where he's headed. Yeah, you do. Fuck it, man. such a dumbass. I mean, you could just drive up there. Right? I mean. <laughs> oh look, Anzi's following him. Can he still see him from there? I don't know. I'm sure he's on running. Yeah, he did. Why can't you be against Dodd? I know, right? Jesus Why does he Christ. work for him? Mm -hmm. Really? It felt really ah. short, huh? <laughs> That was good. They can't leave us like that. They just did. <laughs> this is getting good. It's, well, I mean... It's already good, but it got like even better. I want to see what happened with uh, Floyd and the granddaughter. Oh right! Like that house just he shot it all up. It's like a bunch of cheese. What is it? Like cheese holes? Cheese holes. This thing's gonna look like Swiss cheese. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Are they dead? Um, I don't think they're dead. Damn, are they think, though? You Maybe. think Mike knew? I mean, chances were she was going to be home. And I'm pretty sure oh, he yeah. doesn't care. But she like, called from home. That's where he was getting ready to go, huh? He was call on the phone with her, ready to go to her house. And yep. shoot up where she's at. I mean, he wasn't yeah. going to go confront Dodd and his men, plus the police. Mm, true. I mean, I didn't think about that during the episode. And but, then when they yeah. come home, it's all fucked up. Yep. Um, it was interesting that Peggy was not arrested. Yes. Uh, well, I mean, because technically, Ed's been the one that's been running, right? Kind of. Yeah, I mean, I don't know. I feel like she still could have been arrested. 
no, no. Unless he was like, baby. take me and I'll explain her. You know what I mean? I don't know. Huh. But she wasn't there. Yeah. Um, she but took out Dodd she, yeah, a little she bit. Su she survived yeah. for now. Wait. Dodd passed out. Mm -hmm. And that's the last time they showed him. Is he still going to be passed out in the basement? That's what I think. Or is she going to kill him and then she's going to be dealing with the bodies when everyone shows up again? <laughs> I think she'll probably leave. Dodd needs to go. Yeah. He's like the biggest threat. I, I want. He's the one I want to see dead. Yeah. Um, I want to see um, what's gonna happen with Charlie. Okay. Charlie, yeah. I don't know. I really like Bear. I like his dad. Me too. He's been reasonable. I mean, he's probably not a good person, but he's been like the best person in that family, mm -hmm. right? Because mm -hmm. even the kids trying to do more shit than he is. Um, trying to prove a point. Yeah, I have a feeling the kid's gonna stay locked up. You think? Yeah, he's probably gonna be the last surviving Gerhardt. Hmm. Yeah, probably. After all this is done, if this one night is. Yeah, I real. remember season one. They had mentioned something about like last surviving something. I don't remember if it was Gerhardt's. Really? I don't. It was like one one person that survived from something. Oh. Okay, we should watch me go have back, like dreamt it for some but reason. Yeah, like, pretty good memory of like sometimes you remember these like random lines that I don't recall. Yeah, that's because of when we're editing. I'm usually the one re watching shit when it's processing. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> uh, let me see here. Hold on. I had a few. I just had, took a few notes. Hold on. Oh, overall, I would just say my biggest like mystery that I'm interested in is Peggy's life like they're not gonna go into it but it was just it made sense now with like the magazines mm -hmm. and how much she was accumulating this and it just makes me wonder like how did she end up with ed in this house i know right that was his childhood home so she literally feels like she's living stuck in the past yep and knowing ed he most likely would has like not let her fix anything up because everything meant something to him yeah, right most likely it's just fascinating to me how she ended up with Ed. How Ed is the way he is. Um, just, I don't know, like probably even living in the past. Like if I could see Ed wanting to relive his childhood, mm -hmm. the dad and the mom, the kid and like, you know what I mean? Yes. And just where are they finally going to like break away from each other? Because she's not happy. She's not happy. She I don't think California. she's happy with him. She seems like she was resentful of like staying in that home mm -hmm. right i think she's gonna end up fleeing if not this night yeah she must she could have run already we'll see what they her. find hansi man i'm so disappointed in hansi well it's not like he ever set expectations for us but like it just he's make sense really why. fucking good at the things he does mm -hmm. but it doesn't make sense why he would follow dodd of all people yeah, yeah. can you give hansi some purpose yeah, I would. That's like my dream for this season. Like, if Hansi like flip sides or something, like yeah, like it, Bear, it has to least. make sense why you why he like follows him or where. I have a feeling there's got to be another motive to this, and it's probably just being closer to Dodd since he's like the biggest problem, you know, yeah. kind of long game. I mean, some people some do point. tend to follow like. I know the whole alpha male thing is like a myth, mm -hmm. but like some people tend to follow like the stronger personalities, more, right? Even if they're douchebags. Yeah, I guess. But he just seems like he would see He's right too smart. through it. Yeah, yeah. right? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Um, do I have anything else? I don't really have anything else. I just, they're setting it up for the next episode, I think. There's only four more. We're already past halfway point. Can't wait to see what the hell happens with this whole story. <laughs> I want to see more of Carl. <laughs> He's he is, is fucking dumb. hilarious. Yeah. I was hoping we'd like eventually see like a court case with him trying to make a case mm -hmm. for like the kid. Uh huh. But like I don't I don't think it's gonna go there. I didn't think anything of him, but just like the few scenes that we've had of him, I'm like, who is this dude? Like, why does he keep showing him? But he's just funny. just the way he showed up, right? Yeah, he's <laughs> yeah. just tool he's, like, of to the... his friend, tool of the state. Like, yeah. <laughs> like he's just in his own world with his cameras and code and like what is he he's it's just fun funny. can't wait okay. to see more of him i don't think i have anything else for this episode i want Hank to live you too
he's stressing me out because I really like him. <laughs> he's had a few encounters where he's like nervous looking and we think he's gonna die. And I can see him doing anything possible to save Lou. Yeah. Because he cares about Lou and that's the last thing his daughter who's going through like cancer like needs right now. Yeah. So I don't know. Hopefully he lives. Yeah. Okay. I don't that's have it. anything else. Mm-hmm. Okay. Well, if any of you have anything to add for this episode, just drop it down in the comments. Let us know what you think. Make sure you like our video, subscribe to our channel, turn on the notifications, and we'll see you all next time. Thank you. Bye.